eh? Well, no. This is coffee. Our story begins here, with coffee. Its flavor caught in the closed fist of the bean, freed then by the grinding mills in an endless cascade, brewed into a beverage that is consumed in the hundreds of... A dream of Paris, expressed in café au lait, a continental favorite, half coffee and half hot milk. Canals of Venice and the romance of cappuccino, like cafe au lait, but topped with whipped cream and a sprinkle of grated orange peel. The music of old Vienna in a cup. Viennese coffee, often spiced, but always with a drift of whipped cream. History of Istanbul and the Eastern lands in Turkish coffee, foam hiding the rich sweet brew. The vigor of Latin American coffees, dark and zesty, served black in tiny cups with plenty of sugar. But always it is coffee. How then do we make the perfect cup of coffee to our taste? Success lies in a single word, care. Three simple ingredients go into the brewing process. Water, coffee, time. Care will produce a perfect result every time. The beginning is the coffee pot, and there are as many varieties and types as taste will dictate. Yet, each is intended to do the same thing in a different way, to produce perfection in a coffee cup. To make a good cup of coffee, your coffee maker must be clean, free from all remembrances of that last pot of coffee, ready to begin its work anew, fresh and really clean. Water. Into a hundred thousand pots an hour, water flows in the coffee making process. Water. Too much or too little? Boiled first or later or not at all? For how long? And yet, there is only one correct way. Water, the first element carefully measured, clean and cold. Three quarters of a measuring cup for each cup of coffee, then brought to a full boil. Coffee, fresh. And again, questions. What grind? Percolator, drip, or fine? How much? Coffee. The second element. Your favorite blend, the proper grind for your coffee maker, one level CBI measure per cup. This, found in many homes, is the same as this, a Coffee Brewing Institute approved measure. So whether you use one or the other, the measurement will be the same, and it will be accurate. The boiling water now passes over the coffee, and the brewing process begins. The flame is lowered, and, well, watch. The third element is time. 
and it too must be measured accurately. The minutes counted. The flavor will emerge as the process continues. The taste of coffee heightens and increases until all that is good has been extracted. In this method of brewing, percolator, six to eight minutes over gentle heat. And then the liquid is coffee. From these grounds, there remains nothing more to gain but bitterness. No amount of cooking can extract another ounce of good taste, not another iota of good flavor. In the drip method, the coffee is measured and placed in the pot. The water carefully pre-measured and brought to a full boil, is poured, still boiling, over the coffee. The time? It should take only four to six minutes. In the vacuum method, the coffee is carefully measured into the top bowl. The water is brought to a full boil before the brewing process is allowed to begin. Not more than three minutes after the water and coffee are in contact. Stir gently during the brewing process and lower the heat. That's all there is. Like all good secrets, its simplicity is its magic. of coffee has now been captured in a cup. It has substance, a body to go with its aroma and its taste. When prepared this way, it will be perfect every time. Three magic ingredients. Water, fresh and carefully measured. coffee, the proper grind, and carefully measured. Time, carefully measured. A simple recipe for perfect coffee. Perfect coffee, sending its glow into our lives around the clock. It helps us start the day with warmth and vigor. and spur to the morning's work. It provides the essential part of our pause at noon, indispensable during that unhurried hour in a world that often forgets to stop. In the romance of evening, when young dreams glow softly, coffee is always a perfect companion. And after dinner, it is at home in any setting when good taste is important. In the end, it remains a simple thing, easy to attain, well-made and well-enjoyed. A good cup of good 